Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the things I feel like talking about today. Welcome to Tiffle Tat. And today's Tiffle Tat is brought to you by the letter L. If you've been hiding under a rock recently, you may have missed iDoops doing a content cop on a fella named Rice Gum. I normally don't chime in on such things. I just sit back and watch two YouTubers tear each other apart. This one's been coming for a long, long time. As Rice Gum has been basically begging for a content cop. For, I would say, a year? It's been a long time, at any rate. And I mean actually begging. He legitimately asked for it, and he got it. Idups took the time and tore Rice apart. He started from the very beginning. Worked his way up till now. He showed Rice doing those shady things that he used to do. From streaming people on his videos without their consent. Tasking a victim of sexual assault. If it felt good, though. Pure class. Be a star, Rice Gum. Dup showed how Rice Gum was all about money and nothing else. You can figure that out if you watch his videos. I mean, he hires women that he presents as prostitutes on uh, stripper poles and throws money at them. He constantly brags about his mansion. This man literally thinks, and I use the term man loosely, that money is some kind of equivalency to a status or I'm better than you. He'll often go out of the way to call people irrelevant. Yeah. Rice Gum calls people irrelevant. No one in popular media has any idea who this guy is. Just other YouTubers. But don't worry. You're irrelevant. And I'll, I'll save you the trouble right now, Rice Gum. I'm about as irrelevant as it gets on YouTube. So I know what the word means. He, undersc I dubs, he underscored Rice Gum's BS response towards his actions against Gabby when Gabby was videotaping him at that party and he smashed her phone. When he himself would stream these people and their private conversations with him without their consent, they'd even ask, are you streaming? He'd be like, no, no, I'm not streaming. What are you talking about? He showed how Rice Gum claims all his videos were jokes to be a logical fallacy by showing the videos where Rice Gum is being real. He talked about Rice Gum's team of editors and his lovely ghostwriter, who doesn't get near enough credit for the money that Rice Gum makes. Basically, he took Rice Gum's timeline and he weaponized it. Dups then told Rice Gum how Rice Gum was going to respond. Then Rice Gum did the thing that you should never do after a content cop video drops on you. He responded. And he responded without thinking about it. This is common to the victims of the content cop curse, Triple C. I refer you to Leafy and Keemstar. Rice Gum literally, that's for you, Leafster, did exactly what E. Dups said he would do. He shrugged, flexed, and he lied. He showed the person that asked that, that he asked that abhorrent question to. And tried to label it that she doesn't have a problem with him. When really he probably just threw a bunch of money at her to say this. That's speculation. But I mean, would it really be out of character for him? After showing this person that he asked that abhorrent question to. He asked, if she's not upset, why does anyone care? Clearly showing that he either missed the point entirely, he's too stupid to understand the point, or he just wanted to show you just how much of a child he really is. Rice Gum cannot take criticism. That's been very evident over the years, but it's crystal clear now. Rice Gum showed everyone that not only... Was he not actually sorry for the despicable actions, deeds that he's done over the years? But that he doubled down on all of them. He released multiple videos to iDub's one video. He baited a diss track for days 
before he actually delivered that three minutes of nonsense. Late, as per usual. How are those daily uploads going there, brah? And the diss track went precisely how Dub said it would. He tossed his money, he flexed, and he used Edup's own terminologies against him. Poorly. All I got from the song was that he called Idubs gay. Such a savage. Honestly, though, I wouldn't think this sort of tripe worth commenting on. I'm not, I'm sort of new to this commenting thing, and this, this sort of thing, I really don't care. I'm more worried about, you know, the world issues. You ever ask the media whatever happened to Puerto Rico? Because I'm pretty sure they're still, like, just completely de devastated. But we don't hear about it anymore. All we hear about is Little Rocket Man and Little Bob Corker and other such nonsense from that orange thing Americans refer to as their president. Especially... I wouldn't think this to be worth commenting on. After Idubs dropped a content deputy, which he filmed in advance because he knew precisely how Rice Gum would respond, he proceeded to crush Rice Gum's diss track on YouTube trending within 18 hours. The man is dead and buried. So why am I talking about it? It's because I became aware of something else going on that ruffles my jimmies. Censorship. I mentioned before how I hate censorship in all forms. I even hate the self-imposed censorships I put on myself when I was trying to figure out if YouTube's algorithm bot just hits people at random or if it's actually looking for something. I'm pretty sure it's hitting at random because I've been censoring myself for a while and I still get hit. But I see censorship from Rice Gum himself. I've personally left no less than 10 comments on Rice Gum's multiple videos, and so far, every single one was deleted, but the most recent. I assume it hasn't been deleted simply because he hasn't seen it yet and hasn't had the time to delete it. And I'm not the only one. Read through the comment pages on his garbage content, and you'll see many saying, stop deleting the opinions that you can't handle, essentially. They'll say it a lot more vulgarly. They'll be... Quite verbose about it in many ways, but that would be the gist of what they're saying. And right here, Rice Gum showed me, and he showed the rest of YouTube, just how savage he truly is. How great his response really was. He isn't, and it wasn't. He's a coward, hiding behind his money in his mansion that he routinely brags about. The dude can dish it out, but he cannot handle anyone coming back at him. To the point that he's just deleting the comments of anyone who dares disagree, suggests that he lost, or just be mean in general. And he makes sure to pin the comments saying, I dubs lost, or took the L. I only see one L here. This goes back to I dubs content cop on Leafy. I dubs made it very clear that he has no issue with bullies. Something he and I disagree on, but I can respect his opinion. Because he's intelligent enough to explain it. Because he said he has no issue with bullies so long as they adhere to one simple rule. They can't be pussies. Leaf, Leafy hit his chin. Rice Gum hides negative comments directed towards him, his lifestyle, his work, or if someone just thinks his response was weak. For those of you wondering, that's what my original comment stated. That I was disappointed. I honestly wanted Rice Gum to fire back with everything he had. I wanted to be entertained, and if this is his best, well then it's clear who the winner actually is in this regard. If you want to present yourself as a savage, as someone who is strong, tough, and unbendable, who spits hot fire and takes no L's, then you can't be a pussy about it. You can't bitch about a content cop that you legitimately begged for. Once you do, you lose all your street cred and your clout. That you claim to carry. And remember everyone. You can't spell clout. Without the letter L.